your COVID-19 chef here again. Uh, actually, I don't like that name. Your friendly chef. Um, spaghetti carbonara, but I'm, this is a different twist on it, given that everybody in our household, except for my youngest daughter and I, and the son who does not live here, are pescatarians. We're gonna do this without bacon. But the great thing about a carbonara is that the bacon has that really wonderful smokiness and that beautiful fat. So I'm gonna improvise a little bit. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a different twist. So here's my trick for a good carbonara. I have water, and you look at where my pasta is cooking. It's cooking in a Dutch oven. Uh, my wife did not know what a Dutch oven was, so now you know. Um, and it's also, you can call it anything you want. In here I have half water and half white wine cooking together, okay? Uh, so I've cooked the water and the white wine until some of the most of the alcohol is gone. I'm gonna lower the heat and we're gonna come back to this. Because this is the path that my pasta is gonna swim in and relax. Given that this pasta, which is angel hair, I'm making it with an angel hair, is a very, very, very thin pasta, and it's gonna take two to three minutes to cook, I wanna be very, very methodical and, 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 and organized in the way I'm gonna cook. So I have my saute pan right here. So my pasta is gonna cook out here. My sauce is gonna cook right here. My sauce is gonna go from here to here, and then from here to here, and from here, to my little tummy, and it's all done. So, one, two, three, four. Do I need to say more? Okay, so, uh, my wife is cracking up. You like that one? I said I like it. Um, right here I have, so we're doing pasta for four people. I have six eggs, but not whole eggs. I have four egg yolks, where the white is discarded, and two eggs. And the idea behind here is this is what's gonna cross a lot of that creaminess that I want. And I don't want any streaking, so I wanna make sure I whisk it so you can't, so it's really separated beautifully. I'm gonna add a little black pepper. I'm gonna add Parmesan. So right here, six egg yolks, I really have a full cup of freshly grated Parmesan. And I put very little Parmesan in it. Normally this takes a lot more and I like it a lot more because I want to do that at the end. Rice bran oil. So my pan, as you can see, is very hot. It's a little too hot. I don't want to burn my oil right now, so I'm going to get it off the heat. And in this beautiful pan, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get my garlic going. So this is whole rolls, and as opposed to shaving them with a blade, or as opposed to crushing the bulbs, I am literally my wooden spoon. My wooden spoon. Okay, the hoods are fine. Can I have my wooden spoon, honey? So I'm gonna sort of like, I wanna get this. These garlic bulbs nicely and beautifully caramelized. Merci, mademoiselle. The behind the scene is really important. All the action happening behind us, that's what makes this pasta going. I am your mere servant. So right here what I'm doing is again, we talk about this a lot, is eliminate acid, bring the salt out, bring the sugar out, create balance, so you can go in your mouth, umami, or as Eli like to say, oh mama. So I'm gar beautifully candying this garlic, almost caramelizing it without any sugar, using the existing natural sugar in the garlic. You know, and the great thing you can, this is the way to cook garlic all the time, in my opinion, because you get great flavor without getting that aftertaste that stays in your mouth for three days. And by the way, gum doesn't do the trick. Get some fucking Moroccan mint. Don't square at me. My, it's like you've never heard me swear before. 
get some mint and chew on the mint, chew on parsley, even better yet. See how much water and wine I have here? I have a very small film right here. I'm gonna get my pasta. A quarter per kid. A quarter per each one of us. And you'll see how quick this is gonna happen. So it's happening really, really, really fast. I have a feeling this is gonna be a popular dinner, so I'm gonna work on it really faster than that. So you really are, your pasta is taking a bath, quickly. See that? Very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. So my pasta is going to be nice and it's going to soak up all that white wine. It's going to soak up all that pasta and a little bit more. This is a FEMA household after all, where we think of food as what? As what? Oh, nobody wants to answer. They know what I'm thinking. So you see this? Oh, this is really, everybody's going, really is that. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more white wine. And I'm gonna finish cooking my pasta in there, under low heat. So my pasta right now, and what I'm trying to do here is to make sure that I'm flavorizing the end of their pasta. I don't have the bacon fat. I just want to flavorize it. This is going to expand and get, going to double up in size. I am going to get some more white wine. Maybe. And I'm going to temper my eggs. So my pasta right now is very under low heat. Thank you. Now, if you don't want to do this with white wine, you can do this with uh, vegetable stock. You can also do it with chicken stock. Uh, and I'm going to deglaze my pan. And I'm going to I'm going to bring this to a nice boil. This is beautifully happening. It's still very al dente. It's not gonna stick yet, which means I need to really start working on this nicely and fast. Look at my egg mixture. This normally will go here, but if I do it right now, it's gonna scramble. What I wanna do is temper this. I'm gonna put a little cream right here. It's almost like making a creme brulee, where you mix your eggs and sugar with vanilla, you bring your cream to a boil, you almost to a scorch, you take a little bit of that cream, add it to the egg, so you temper the egg slowly. That's what we're gonna do in here. Except that in here we're gonna temper it with our white wine and garlic. A few of these. And I'm gonna mix it. What's gonna happen is this brings it at a temperature, so when I bring it into the pasta, my pasta is doesn't scramble. I'm gonna add cream to this. So remember, this thick Technically speaking, doesn't take any cream. This technically speaking doesn't take any any um, uh, butter. We don't have any in here, but you can. But the reason I'm adding it is I'm trying to compensate for the lack of fat from the bacon and also add a little bit more flavor. I'm now going to get my heat up and I'm going to finish cooking my pasta. 
right here. My pasta is right now starting to loosen up and cook and absorb a lot of that flavor. See that? It's starting to loosen up beautifully. Pardonnez moi, mademoiselle. And as this is loosening up, this is now what creates flavor. What's gonna create flavor at the end is when I finish my eggs, I'm gonna add a little bit more white wine. So again, if you don't want white wine, you can use stock. If you don't want stock, you can use water, but really that will make the pasta very boring. And I'm gonna keep stirring. You have to, with Angela here, you have to keep stirring. You have to keep stirring without breaking it. And break from the bottom down. And the reason I like to do it this way, I don't, you know, I don't lose any of the starch that the pasta has, and I create that creaminess from the starch releasing in the water. Is that olive oil? I just added olive oil, a little bit. That's just a preference. Look at that. This is starting to come along, but it's not quite there. This is all the beautiful Italian four plate. And the pièce de résistance, a little bit, and mix. Oh, look at that. You see that pasta that used to be hard and and right here. It's gonna have a deep, beautiful yellow color. I am under low heat right now. So my so look at this beautiful cream. It's literally, and my pasta, if you look at it, look at that. None of them are sticking, but they all are creamy and beautiful. So I am, all I'm doing to this egg finish is bring it to a temperature. I don't want to cook it, I want to cream up and finish my pasta. My pasta, is done and guess what I didn't do in here? I did not add any salt because my parmesan is so beautifully flavorful. You can add more salt if you want to. Really, really simple. One of the things that I really want to do right now, I know we have a lot of time to cook at home right now, but this is more about creating flavor, creating experiences, and then concentrating on the substance of the food. We will do some fine dining stuff, but this is, to me, I can eat this seven days a week. Bon appétit.